Welcome back to Birding with Chris. Today is Global Big Day. Global Big Day is an annual 24 hour challenge where you try to see as many species as possible. To make this big day extra special, I'm challenging my friend Jordan from Bright Eyed Birding to see who can see more species. I'll try to get videos of every bird I see, but I probably won't get all of them. So I'll put a trip report at the end of the video. What's up Chris, it's Jordan with Bright Eyed Birding and today I am birding in St. George, Utah for October Big Day. I thought it'd be cool if we did a species challenge like last year, a little rematch, and see if we can find more birds than we did last year, meet our goals. My goal today is 70 birds. I hope we both reach our goals. Good luck. Let's go find some birds. I started the morning with a visit to the Fort Rosecrans National Cemetery in San Diego. During fall migration, this cemetery is a migratory hotspot. Unfortunately, on Global Big Day, the fog was super thick. You could hear some birds calling, but visibility was terrible. With the clock ticking, we decided to leave the foggy cemetery. Okay, so it's 7.10, we're leaving Fort Rosecrans, way too foggy, only 11 species there, and now we're heading on to our next spot. I arrived at Point Loma Nazarene University at 7.15. The fog was still pretty thick, but we racked up 12 more birds for the day, including great views of a spotted towhee and a Townsend's warbler. To escape the fog, we headed to the San Diego River mudflats near the Rob Field Skateboard Park. The reddish egret stalks its prey in shallow water. They dash, lurch, and zigzag to spear a fish. The result is a fascinating dance and a delicious reward. Just after 9 a.m., we headed inland to Cato Sessions Park. Along with friends from the Western Field Ornithologists, I got great views of the bay-breasted warbler. We got five new species and then drove to another neighborhood park, Villa La Jolla. Okay, so it's 10 o'clock, we're at 55 species. We still have a lot more spots to go to and hopefully we reach over 100 soon. Point La Jolla is a rocky portion along the San Diego coastline between La Jolla Cove and Boomer Beach. I just got my life for wandering tattler. Let's go! Pelagic means of the open ocean, and it's not a good description for this species. Pelagic cormorants are rarely seen more than a few miles from land. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so we're walking into Tijuana River Slough and hopefully we get Ridgeway's rail, which will be a new bird for the day. That should put us around 70 bird species. Let's go. Just a few hundred yards away from the Mexican border, the community gardens are a reliable spot to see the common ground of. Okay, so we're at the Tijuana Community Gardens and I just got my life for common ground of. 
It was the lifer for me too. Let's go! Ooh. After birding along the coast and estuaries, we decided to explore a different habitat and drove up into the mountains to visit Lake Kuyamaka. I'm thrilled that my final bird sighting of the day was the bald eagle, marking my 103rd bird spotted after a long day of birding. On my way back to the car, I was pleasantly surprised to come across another patriotic species, the American Coot, bird number 104. What an incredible big day. Here's my trip report for the October Global Big Day. I saw a total of 104 species, including two lifers. Jordan from Bright Eyed Birding saw 66. Definitely check out his video. He hiked over 10 miles and got great views of a roadrunner. Thanks for watching this Global Big Day episode of Birding with Chris. Happy birding!